How's it going guys? Derek here and in this video we're going to be talking about how to check the hard drive health of your hard drive, well, with uh, with Linux. So in this first part here we're going to be talking about a command line tool and then we're going to be talking about a uh, a graphical tool. So let's go ahead and install both. You're going to need to install SmartMon tools and you're going to need to install GNOME Disk Utility. So for those of you who are KDE fans like me and don't use GNOME, don't worry. Disk Utility works great on KDE. It might look a little out of place, but it still works pretty good. So to install it, you would just do sudo apt install SmartMon tools and then for GNOME Disk, you do GNOME Disk Utility. Tack Y. And of course, if you're not an Ubuntu user, check the link in the description and I have instructions on how to get that going for your distro. Get that installed. And uh, <clears throat> once it's installed, we can see it's creating our sim links and all that for systemd and uh, we will be able to use it. All right, so first things first, to check the disk health, you need to get sudo you need to get a root user, I should say. So to do that, you do sudo s, then you can do lsblk. Now let's find a hard drive. Now I have two SSDs on my computer. Um, I'm using my Linux setup on this one, I believe. It's complicated how I have it partitioned, but anyways, if I want to check the health of my SDB drive, I can do smart ctl, then, and then tac a dev sdb. Now it's going to do a smart test. There are no error log, so we know that it's okay. We can go and look through the report, and if we want to, we can even save the, the report to the desktop if we want to. So home, Derek, desktop, drive, report, txt. And uh, we can port that, and then we can just view that at a later date, we, we see that we have our hard drive report and we can see it in the file here. You can also run it on the SDA drive. It doesn't have to be offline. You can check any drive that's connected. I think it even does USB devices too, but don't quote me on that. I think it only works with stuff that has smart, smart capabilities. So if you have an external hard drive that has smart capabilities, it will work, but don't try it on a USB flash drive, I guess, is the main thing I'm saying here. But uh, that's how you use the Smart CTL app, and that's very useful if you want to check quickly, you want a detailed explanation. If you just want to see if your hard drive is okay and you don't really want to deal with the terminal, there's also disk utility. So we can open up disks here. Now disks is a very graphical uh, overlay of your hard drives. You can see how it's partitioned out of the gate here. And uh, to start off, we can look at the quick assessment. So we can see both of my hard drives are running quite hot because I'm doing a lot of stuff. Uh, and it says disk is okay. Now, if I want more information, I can go smart data and tests. And now we can see there are no errors that I can see. Everything looks okay. And uh, some of the stuff is saying old age. This is an old SSD, so, you know, some things are there. But uh, you can also run a uh, self-test, and this works for every drive. So you just click on the drive, then you just click on uh, Smart Data and Self-Test. So hope that was enlightening. Uh, checking your hard drive health is important even on Linux. Uh, so just check out the link in the description. You can learn how to get these tools going and check for yourself if uh, the video wasn't enough for you to learn how to do this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.